In this video, we are running through Bale a hundred times. I have to say this was one of my better farming runs I've done in a while. I walked away from this with a lot of really nice finds. I did these bail runs sitting at about 350% magic find. Make sure to watch until the end to see my best drop of this run, which I ended up trading away. Okay, let's get after it. On my second bail run, I found these Immortal King boots. Nothing crazy here, but it's nice to see something noteworthy drop on my second run. On run 6, I found this interesting Tomb Reaver. I'm having a hard time finding a trade for this. I think it could be worth an Istrune. We got almost perfect on the all res, perfect attack rate against undead, and it rolled 3 sockets. But sadly it rolled the worst possible enhanced damage. On run 14 we had a unique ring drop. Unfortunately it turned out to be a dwarf star. I'm still on the hunt for a stone of Jordan. On run 26 I came across this Ariax Needle. We got 4 to all skills and nearly perfect on the enhanced damage roll. Not bad. On my way down to Bale on run 28 we had a pair of war traps drop. The magic find roll could have been a lot better sadly. I ended up trading these right away for an Istrune. On the same run, Bale dropped his Valkyrie Helm. I thought this was decent for the 2 to Amazon skills roll and 4 mana after kill, but obviously you can get a lot better Helms for Amazons. 13 runs later I had a Vamp Gaze Helm drop. Sadly we got 6% life stolen per hit, uh, but this would be a pretty good Merc Helm early ladder. On run 45 I found this Immortal King weapon. I don't know if it's just me, but I'm constantly finding these. On run 47 I had a unique amulet drop, unfortunately nothing good of value. On run 48 I had this unique eldritch orb drop. Of course it could not have rolled much worse than what I got, the one to all skills was a dagger. On run 51 we had this solid Geeds drop, perfect on the vendor prices, high extra gold roll, and 32% magic find. I traded this for a Mal rune. I'd say that was a fair deal. On run 58 I had some more unique jewelry drop. I was hoping for some luck after all my previous jewelry finds being so bad, and we got Manald's. On run 60 I came across this dragon scale shield. I'm not quite sure if this is really used in any builds, feel free to let me know in the comments. If you guys are enjoying this content so far, please consider liking this video and subscribing to my channel. On run 70 I found this Trang's belt. I'm going poison necro for ladder season 3 so I'm hoping to be finding some more Trang's gear early. On run 80 I had another unique amulet drop. It turned out to be a crescent moon. This was a tough session for unique jewelry drops. On run 88 I had this beautiful grand charm drop. A nice crisp paladin combat skiller. I kept this one in my inventory. On run 95 Bale dropped me a pair of mage fist. Okay guys here's my best drop of the 100 Bale runs. On run 30 I had a raven lore drop. And it just wasn't any raven lore. This helm was 1% off the perfect negative fire res roll, along with some pretty high all res and plus to energy rolls. I was able to trade this away for a low rune. What do you guys think of this trade? Do you think I could have held out for a burr rune? Let me know. Also I finished the session with 7 essence of destruction, which I ended up trading away for an ulm rune. If you enjoyed this bail run video, click this video on screen to see my findings during 300 Neolithak runs. I had a great rune drop in that video.